Hello everyone, I'm Axel from Samolo Customs. Today we're doing a controller testing. So far, our previous models use a 450 amp controller. We are currently doing an 850 amp controller and we are already leading in the industry with our controller amperages. So far, our testing has done fantastic. We're doing exceptionally well on our speeds. Now, I'll let it, leave it off to Jeff and he'll explain what we're doing with our findings. Thanks, Axel. Uh, yeah, so we're out here today, we're testing um, our new controller. It's an 850 amp controller. Uh, it's a big, big step up from our 450 amp controller, uh, which is what we currently use in our, our vehicles. Um, the reason we're doing this testing is for the development of our new uh, top secret chassis, the SC1. Um, and so we're, we're developing a, a drivetrain that's going to work uh, across the board on all our new vehicles. All right, everyone, we're going to start with our 450 amp controller here. We'll be starting off with a hill climb test, then we'll be moving on to our controlled road test. We'll be going down and up. We see how long it takes to get to a certain speed, how long you can maintain that speed for, and see where speed drops off. All right, we just got back from doing our 450 amp controller. Tests were great. We're now gonna go finish install our 850 amp controller. We'll get that all in there. We'll see what the results compared to. In the end, we'll just do a quick rundown and we'll let you know the results. Yeah, it definitely feels faster. Yeah, we're going 42. Where last time we were going 36. <laughs> That's noticeable. And uh, it was 42 with, with just two of us, and now it's 42 with three of us. Yeah. So. Rock and roll, guys. Yeah, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot quicker than before, and more acceleration and holds speeds uphill way better. Yeah, because the last one we could do uh, was 43. Yeah, and that was we put everything kind of maxed out, and you're using a laptop, and now you're just on your phone, hey? Yeah, my GPS. Yeah. Oh, your GPS? Okay. So that's 50. Yeah, the, the controller software is going to have to. Yeah, the program's going to work. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Is that kind of what you're hoping for, Jeff? Is that like kind of right yeah, around well, in there? It's 10 I want to get, I want to be able to do 40 everywhere. <laughs> that works. Wicked, yeah, that was. Even one of the bigger models, too, because this is the F6 Plus 2 it's with big, three people and. Big as, as big as we get. Pretty much doing almost 50 kilometers an hour uphill. Yeah, that's pretty good. Holy, 56? <laughs> Driving around town. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so here's uh, here's our test. We did two uh, 
two different tests uh, uh, per controller. So we've got a main road test, which uh, runs at about a 12% incline. And then we've got our steeper test, which is a 32% grade. Um, so we did both of those. Uh, vehicle is identical, so 1,500 pounds uh, we were weighted at. State of charge was close to 100. We did it, uh, started 100%. We were at 96 on the 450 and about 90%. Um, on the 850 amp controller, we set our tire pressures all the same. We're using 23 inch off-road tires for the test. So you can see our 450 um, at the 12% incline was a, a top speed of 43 kilometers an hour. Uh, when we went to the steeper 32% incline, we dropped down to 36 kilometers an hour. Um, on our 850, uh, we were at 50 uh, kilometers an hour on our 12% grade, and then 42 uh, kilometers an hour on our, uh, on our hill climb. Uh, so those numbers are quite significant uh, when you're looking at, uh, you know, percentage-wise. And we're quite happy with our testing.